everyone. Neil here. Getting started on the long anticipated, long planned uh, biome dimension arc. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with some decorative features first, and that way we have those in place when we start doing the biomes themselves and then the biome decorator. So, this episode we're going to be doing trees. Um, more than likely what's going to happen is we're just going to do logs and leaves and then their respective item classes because we're going to use multi-blocks for these. And then next episode we will actually do the saplings because believe it or not, saplings are kind of crazy. Um, so, let's get started and uh, let's get rid of that son of a bitch because I'm tired of seeing it. So, um, I saw a comment. Yes, there's a biome in here. Yes, I've been working on biomes for quite some time. Um, trying to get them figured out. You do Google searches for biomes on 172 and you get nothing. Like, nobody knows how to do it. You'll find that, like, add spawn biome, but that doesn't actually add the biome to the default world. All it's saying is that biome, if it were actually registered, is one that the player can spawn in doesn't actually get it into the game whereas before what did you do like game registry add biome or biome registry add biome something like that for 164 anyways not a lot of stuff on that so uh don't worry we'll get that taken care of i'm actually going to show you two ways to add biomes one is to make your own world type and then the other is just to get them into the default world but cart before the horse um what we're going to do is we're going to do trees so I already have this biome package here. So go ahead and create that. And then once you've done that, go ahead and we're actually going to do a uh, features sub folder for that. In here, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a new class. We're going to call this um, NC log. And really what we're going to be doing is... Um, doing item metadata to make this happen um, so I'm thinking out loud here um, what we're gonna do is okay actually let me let me back up a little bit where you get the info from this from is I've I've kind of gone back and forth with um, um, one of the gals trying to work out trees here and I know that I have some outstanding uh, emails from you. I have a lot of outstanding emails. I haven't checked my email in a while. Now that things have finally slowed down at work, I can do that. So you have this block log class. This is um, not really what you're looking for. You can't copy and paste out of this. There's actually two other classes. There's new log and old log. Old log is going to consist of oak spruce, birch, and jungle, what we're used to seeing. New log has acacia and big oak, which is like that roofed oak, right? So what we really want to do is emulate those classes. So what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in our own special ones. So we're going to do extends um, block log like so. And we're going to import block log and it doesn't want us to do anything else cool um, what we are going to do however is we are going to say uh, public static final string and this is going to be an array and we're going to call it logs and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be loading this up with the different types of um, how do you say uh, uh, different types of trees that we're going to have. So uh, I've decided that we're going to do a maple and we're going to do a poplar. And really it's just as straightforward as adding these. But the thing is, is because we're doing item metadata, um, I, I'm not really sure of a better way to do this, to be honest with you. So um, really what I'm going to recommend is that you uh, um, I'm trying to think of the word I'm losing the word. Um, you're going to have to update in multiple sections when you're adding when you're adding new logs to this, and this actually needs to be a new string. 
a new string, like so. Right? So essentially we've created a string saying what our different trees are. Um, the next class that we're going to have is um, we're going to do an at side only. And this is going to be a side dot client. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. I sneeze like every episode for the last three episodes. Um, we are going to say uh, public void get sub blocks. And in this, we are going to have item item. We're going to have creative tabs. These are the arguments for it. We're not actually going to reference creative tabs, but we're going to have that in there. We'll just call this tabs. And then we're going to have uh, a list and list list like so. I'm going to do some imports. So let's get those imported real quick. Minecraft item, Java list like so. Good to go. So what we want to do here is um, we want to go through and we want to add the sub blocks to this. Now what you see um, in this block new log or old log class is they actually go through onesie twosie and add these and you'll see this uh, variable right here that they're essentially using for list. Ours is just going to say list. So they actually manually go through here and do this. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a for loop and what that means is that if we decide to come back and add more to this really all we have to do is just um, modify this array and then the rest of the class is going to take care of it. If we did it the other way and we added two more trees we're going to have to add two more lines to this but by adding a for loop um, we're going to save time on that. And I'm going to show you um, what that will look like. And it may be familiar because we've already done it at this point. So uh, what we're going to have is we're going to have a for int i equals zero. Don't want a space. I, I is less than uh, logs dot length like so. And then we're going to iterate I plus plus I plus 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 plus. Thank you. And then what we're going to say at this particular point is um, list um, list dot oh my lord what is this going to be um, I don't know which one of those we're going to do so we're just going to do add and we are going to say new item stack um, and this is going to be item like so. It's going to be one and then it's going to be I like so. Boom. Like that. Easy squeezy. So rather than uh, block old log going through and doing each one of these we're already iterating through I and it's incrementing as far as we go and what's going to happen is uh, because we only have two items in here because we were gathering the links of the logs here, it's only going to go through it two times. It's going to start with zero, then it's going to start with one, which is essentially what would have happened had we done it the long way. So I kind of hope that makes sense in terms of um, if we were to come back and add stuff, we have to add more lines to this. This will adapt based on how long this is because we're gathering the length of it to iterate and add those new items. So there you go. Clear as mud. Uh, if that doesn't make sense, ask questions. I will try my best to get back to you. Um, so public void, um, this is going to be register block icons, like so. And we're going to reference i icon register. We are, we are old hats at this. We know what we are doing. We just need to learn to spell. You guys kind of know my typical way of doing this. Um, 
So what we are going to do is we are going to say this dot uh, field, and we have one five zero one six seven a, and we're at, this is actually coming out of the block log class because we ex have extended the block log class. Right. Really, what this is saying is that this is going to be the uh, this field as it is. Um, indicated in um, in this class is really it, it's the side texture is really what's happening so we're going to put this into an array I icon and we are going to say ugh, log dot length like so and um, yeah do a quick import get that in there why do you not want to come in friend um, icon registry how about icon register icon register um, import there we go the next one that we're going to do is going to be another field that we're referencing from our block log class right there this one as well is going to be a new icon uh, bah. Bah. Um, links like so. So let's look at these. You can uh, hold control. You can click on those and it'll take us over here. Really what we have is protected this eye icon and this is essentially how we're gathering the um, the icons. Get top icon, get side icon. So A is the side icon, B is the top icon. Following me so far? Good. So for um, we're doing another one of these int equals um, int i equals zero and what we're going to say as long as i is less than this this dot field a dot length and we're going to iterate i plus plus like so new line and what we're going to say is this dot field A. It's the easiest way for me to describe that because I'm not going to spell it out. Of I um, is going to equal icon register dot register icon this dot get texture name. Um, the method and it is going to see so essentially what is our get texture name this is um, uh, how do you say um, this this will come later this will come later I'll leave it at that this will come later um, we're gonna do uh, a dash like so and we are going to say um, logs of I like that so this is going to take care of the side texture um, there we go some derpiness there um, we're actually going to copy and paste this just because that is kind of a long line and we will just actually copy this and we'll paste it right here and what we're actually going to do, because this is actually the top, what we are going to do is we are going to say um, plus dash. Uh, we don't need a dash. We'll just put top. And we don't even need this right here. However, to stick with our usual naming conventions, um, what we are going to do is uh, we're going to capitalize these bad boys right here. Boom. Mopular. Pop popular. <laughs> Poplar? Have you guys been mocking me for that this whole time? So there we go. This is going to take care of our generic log class that we're going to use for everything. Everything.
Um... Yeah, that does that. Let's do leaves. Um, leaves are much like the same thing. So we're going to do new. We're going to do class. We're going to call it NC leaf, like so. Not leaves, because I don't feel like it. So suck it, Trebek. Um Leaves are leaves are a little bit more crazy. I won't deny it. Um, actually, you know what? Rather than this, let's do um, let's let's back up. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, we need to actually um, do our item block class. So we will come back to you, friend. And we have under items. Uh, we are going to do new class and we are going to call this item block uh, item log blocks like so and this is going to extends item block like so import it wants some stuff we'll add the constructor uh, we're gonna call this block we're gonna call this block what's up son Oh, are you doing your fluoride? No, I already done it. Uh, okay, I'll do that. Here, take this. Give me a couple minutes, okay? And then we'll come do bedtime. Sorry, dad duty. Dad duty. Raise your hand if you have kids. <laughs> Raise your hand if you are a kid. Whoa. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to specify that this has subtypes. This is true. Um, we are going to do another method, public string git unlocalized name. Let's make sure that we are doing string right. Get unlocalized name, and this is going to be item stack, stack, item stack, like so, and we are going to say int i is going to equal item stack dot get item damage, and then we are going to say if um, i is less than what zero or i is greater than or equal to um. Uh, what are we going to call this? Uh, we'll do logs again. Logs dot length. And it's going to derp out on us here. Because we haven't done any of that. Um, and we're going to say i is going to be equal to zero. Right? But it's like logs, huh? The fuck? So we are going to do um, a public static... Uh, final string like that logs again it's going to be equal to new string array hello array and again we are going to have maple we're going to have poplar and I didn't do quotes on that shame on me uh, close that up with a brace and a semicolon. There we are. It likes logs now. It doesn't like this. Must add a return statement to this. Well, that's because I haven't done one. So after this brace, we are going to return our super dot get unlocalized name like so. And it's going to be like so. And it is going to be plus dot plus logs i. What? What is going on here? What is this madness? This isn't madness. 
This is Sparta. There we go. Um, so what this is essentially going to do is it's going to get the unlocalized name, which is going to be um, logs dot maple right here, right? Logs dot maple. So when we are actually in our log class and we're actually printing this out, we're going to get the texture name, which is more or less going to be that unlocalized name. So it's going to be, you know, maple dot so on. With me so far? One last method. And then I'm going to take a quick break to go put the tax deductions to bed. Because I can hear them back there screaming at each other right now. Um, and we are just going to return meta at this point, but we're going to, we're going to tidy this up. Boom. Like so get metadata. Uh, if you're ever wondering, do an override just to make sure that it likes it. It likes it. I think he likes it, Jim. Save. Let's run this and we should get, um, these to show up in our inventory. Nope. 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 You know why? Because we haven't done this thing over here. We have to do that thing first. <laughs> I do this shit all the time. All the damn time. You guys are just screaming at your your fucking screens being like, Dude! Neil! What the fuck, man? Uh, crops, this is a good place to put it. Trees. We're going to say public, static, block, block, log. Yep. Yep. Let's initialize this bad boy. So we put that after crops. Let's put it after crops. Trees. And we are going to say block log is going to equal um, new, what do we name our class? Um, NC log dot um, set block name, which is kind of like the unlocalized name, right? We're going to call this a log right now and then we're going to set the creative tab we're going to set the creative tab to our normal one right like so and we will jump in and test that as soon as I get back And I'm back. Uh, did a little too much there. Take the creative tab out. Tax deductions are in bed. We're good. <laughs> um, so we've assigned... Oh, shit. Screaming at your screens. Screaming at your screens. So, um... Where are our crops? I need to go through and label these better. Somebody did this for me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do it. I'm going to copy and paste this uh, mineral blocks um, uh, thingy madu hickey here. Uh, because. Because of reasons. Um because we can just make some quick changes to this and it makes it all good in the hood right there we go now we're registered and so we're what we're doing is we're registering this as uh multi-blocks as metadata go back and do block metadata if you're not familiar with this because i'm assuming that you've already watched that episode at this point so if you're not familiar with block metadata, a lot of this is going to be like, huh? Go back, take the time, watch that episode, come back, see me then. Anyways, moving on. Let's actually go in here. 
and fucking check this out and make sure that it's right. And what do we got? Yay! That works. Um, time set zero. Boom. Sunshine of my life. We've got two blocks. We've got maple and we've got poplar right there. So really what we need to do is um, we need to put those in our names, um, our lang file, and I look at so many of these guys, I I really do lose track of everybody who sends me help and kind of tips and tricks. Um, so where's our crops? We'll come down here, and we are going to say tile dot log dot maple dot name is going to be equal to maple log and tile dot log dot poplar dot name is going to be equal to poplar log. And so from what I understand is that we can just save that. And if we go into Minecraft and we hit escape and we go to options and we go to language and we'll do Australian English and then we'll go back to English like so. When we come back in, what do we have? Yay, it worked. Thanks, dude. I appreciate that. We don't have any textures for these because I haven't designed any textures. But we have these in here. Now, I want to show you what I mean by how easy it is to add additional logs here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to NC Log and we are going to add Cherry. Um, these are uh, just trees that I grew up with. Um, when I grew up with my grandma, she had these. I mean, she had cherry trees, she had plum trees, and she had, uh, what was the other one? Uh, what was the tree that grandma had on the other side of the driveway, up in the corner? The next to the poplars, it was a fruit tree. Apricot. Apricot. Man, I miss me some apricots. God, Grandma, why'd you have to go and die? For fuck's sake. No respect. Um, so yeah, we just add those in. We save them up. We re-roll. Like so. Boom, 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 boom. Hello, single player, new world. And uh, we're not going to have the names of these in here. Um, but you'll see the maple log, and then we have cherry, plum, apricot, all right there. That is awesome. So that's as simple as it is to get um, to get them in game. Anyways, you'll see obviously that I'm missing a very important part, and that is the actual textures themselves. Um, I'm a lazy cunt. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to scale this back a little bit because I don't want to make that many textures. Um, and we're going to go back to just maple and poplar. Even though I am nostalgic for apricots. Um, so there's our logs. Logs are done, right? Sweet. Uh, what we want to do now is we want to roll back over to this leaves class. And you know what? I've had to start and stop the video a couple times. I have no idea where we are. So is this is a long one. Fuck it. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm not even I'm not even sorry. I'm not even sorry. Um this block leaf or this NC leaf class is going to extend uh block leaves. Like so. Import <laughs> But import block leaves. I had to save it there, apparently. 
um, add um, implemented methods. So we got a couple of things going on there. Um, let's get these out of the way and push these down to the bottom. So we have a get icon um, method and you know what I think would be easier for all involved? No, 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 mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope. Okay, so uh, get icon. We have int and int for our get icon. This is actually, uh, we're going to change this to side. We're going to change this to meta. Right, and we're not going to return null. We are actually going to return um, we are going to return meta whoops meta ampersand three no that's not all that we're doing equals one or otherwise uh, this dot um, I think this is something that we're pulling out of block leaves um, field M this is that icon so kinda like we did in the block logs this is something that we're pulling out of block leaves right here see that we're referencing that um, so if it equals one do this right um, which is actually uh, that's an array so we're actually going to say this dot field 127 B moving it over one one Otherwise, we are going to do this dot field M is going to be equal to this dot field 127B, move over one, zero. So take that in for a second, right? That's what that is going to look like. Don't mind me, I'm just drinking my wild cherry Pepsi here. Um, next thing that we have is this function, which has not been deobfuscated. Um, this is um, really all this is going to do is just going to return leaves. Um, so we're just actually going to write return leaves. But what does leaves mean? What does that mean? Fuck, I don't know. Um, let's make it mean something. So, there's two things that we have to do. Um, and the first one is going to be a public static sugar. Public static final string array. And we are going to call this... Um, leaf whoa hello leaf types um no i don't think this is going to work leaf types and this is going to need to be equal to a new string um leaves underscore maple. I'm I'm just going to type this out and then I'll explain what the fuck we're doing here. So leaves um, maple. We don't want to do this. We want to do leaf maple. Um, I'm looking at vanilla code as reference right now. We want to do leaf poplar. We've had a pretty consistent naming convention, or I have had a pretty consistent naming convention um, throughout uh, 
this modding thing for my textures and I, I kind of want to maintain that. Uh, so we're going to open a new brace and this is going to be leaf maple opaque comma leaf uh, not maple poplar oh fuck opaque there we go yeah look at that and then we're going to close those up like so you see that did you see that he's not paying attention to me my nephew's staying with us right now he's a stud uh, but he's I don't know he's 19 he's plugged into something fucking kids today um, string and this is going to be uh, leaves leaves is going to be equal to a new string and this is really what type of log are we more or less attaching this to well that's a good question you already know that it's going to be a maple and it is going to be a poplar excuse me like so so now it likes that two methods out the way um if you're copying and pasting vanilla code um, just as an afterthought you may see something that says like private static final string and it'll say like underscore underscore obf id i'm pretty sure that that means the obfuscated id and then it's a reference number i don't know if that's a forge thing or not i think it's a forge thing but i don't know for sure but it's not really needed uh when you're doing this so um, we've gotten these bad boys out of the way. So let's make some room. Let's make some space. And we're going to do um, a few other things here. Let's actually... Um, who? What do we want to do? You know what? Let's do this. Um... Because I can go through and I can walk you through um, copying and pasting all of this stuff. Or, uh, you know, typing all this out. But I think that's a ginormous waste of your time. So, and mine. So let's go into here to um, block. And we're going to go to new leaves. Block, new leaf. And really what we're going to do. Hey, there's that. I think that's the obfuscated ID. So we are actually just going to start at this one right here beneath these declarations that we just did on our own. We're going to scroll to the bottom. We're going to copy. We're going to roll over to our class. And I'm actually uh, just going to paste these in. Now we're going to get an error on a couple of these. Specifically, this one, we already have that. So let's get rid of that. And that will get rid of the error that we have here. Now there's also a get icon one in here as well. We already have that, so let's delete this get icon. Um, now what happens as a result of this is um, we've copy and pasted these things over. What it's saying is over here, those block new leaf, this n, this field, what it blah 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 n was actually our leaves and then our opaque leaves, and then this o was what kind of logs those leaves are attaching to. So we actually need to come up here. And so N is this bad boy right here. So we're going to scroll down here and we're just going to copy and paste leaf types into each of these. Um, and then do we have something referencing leaves other than that other thing? I don't think we do because we don't have any errors. We can save this right now and this would work as long as we did our, our item types. But there's some things that I want to do um, just because, I mean, this just, just looks like, like doo-doo butter to me. I don't really, really don't um, like this one bit. So... Uh, let me see here. I want to find some different code. So we will go under there and, 
and let's go there, and let's go there. Oh, man. I'm going to paint in my gut. It's gross. Um, block. Leaves. That's what I want to look at for reference here. And I want to find out this one right here. What is this? This is all kinds of crazy is what it is. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not seeing it. Usually what you can do is you can go back and you can look at old 164 code and it'll kind of like kind of tell you what each of these are. Um, I have an idea what some of them are, but not all of them. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I have no idea. So we are just going to do this as we go. So this one, I think this is break block, to be honest with you, because that's what it looks like to me. So we're going to have, uh, let's change this to world. And you don't have to do this because it will work as is. I just want to do this because I think it looks like shit. Like, I drank up shitload of PBR the night before and I just took a dump the next morning shit right um, I don't know if side and meta is really what we're looking for here but uh, that's what I'm putting them in as so suck it if you don't like it I do what I want grandma meta meta like so um, damage dropped int I we'll call that I get damage value this is going to be world. Uh, so we're going to say return world. And we're getting block metadata. And we're doing that based off of chords. X, X, Y, Y, Z, Z. Um, so this is really what I'm doing. And again, I don't like this. This get subblocks method. Um, because it is not forward thinking. Right? You want to code smart. And I'm not saying that the guys at Minecraft aren't coding smart. Because those guys are way smarter than I am. I just, you know, in, in my time in coding, I code myself into a hole. I, I call it hard coding. And so you have to go back and you just have to fucking change everything every time. And it's a big pain in the ass. It's a big pain in the ass. What was three? Uh, list. List. No, but I'm not doing that. Right? No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to go up here to my log and I am just going to copy this loop right here. And we are going to drop this bad boy right here. Boom. Logs.length. Uh, what is the length that we are going for here? Leaves.length. Because we're having two of these things, right? Leaves. Leaves. And item, items, and list, list, like so. This will be, I can register, we'll change that um, to right here. These guys are referencing uh, coming out of this uh, block leaves class, so we'll leave that as is. And that does it. So I feel like I've tuned this up to our needs. So there's our leaf, right? So what do we got up here? You have uh, fancy and fast, right? On fancy, you can see through the leaves, right? On fast, you can't. And really what it's doing is we're just specifying based upon that condition what kind of these are we going to get. And I always mix this up. I want to say that the opaque ones are the ones that you can see through and these are the ones that you can't see through. Um, if we come into here, this will probably be the easiest way to figure this out. And we'll go into vanilla items and blocks. And let's look at this by tiles because that gives us a bigger picture of what each of these look like. And did I just see it? Nope. I'm high. Um, leaves. Okay. So. 
regular, you can see through. Opaque, you cannot see through. Right? So these are actually two different files that we have to make. Um, you'll see that these also use uh, what's called colorizer. It uses, uh, not colorizer, it uses biome temperature to indicate what that's going to look like. Um, and we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Let's just get these bad boys in the game with their broken ass textures for right now. Um, we need to do an item leaf blocks class. So we actually have this item log blocks. We're going to come in here. We're going to do new. We're going to do class item leaf Ooh, stiff back blocks like so. Um, really what we can do is we can just come right here. We can take this section right in the middle and we can go to our leaf blocks right here, paste it in. Let's give it a little, a little room here. Um, this obviously doesn't like that. So let's, let's correct that leaf blocks. And why doesn't like you remove argument to match that you crazy item leaf blocks extends item block. Let's uh, import that. Now it likes it. Um, logs. Let's change these to uh, leaves just to be consistent since we're dealing with leaves and not logs on this one. So we'll set that. Now let's roll in to our main modding class. Ha 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 ha. And so we're going to come up and we are going to do public static static block block leaf down to here. And we are going to say block leaf is going to equal new nc leaf and we are going to set the block name set block name as leaf we are going to set the creative tab to uh, neocraft tab but we're going to do that like this pachoom pachoom lazy uh, make a space. All right. Um, again, with this, we'll just copy this and we will paste. Uh, instead of block log, of course, it's going to be leaf. Um, our item leaf block. And block leaf. Get that G out of there. And look at that. So, let's roll in game. Um, I didn't do any language on there. Sorry. You guys should just know that by now. Uh, Neil brings nothing to the table. Nothing to the table. Uh, uh, uh. So, poplar log, maple log, poplar log, leaf maple, leaf poplar. Tight like the first night. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We need to do some texturizing on here. I'm going to call this an episode at this point. Um, because the next one that we're going to be doing is the sapling. And I'll show you actually um, the sapling code just as a sneaker peeker um, of my sapling code. Because it's a big motherfucker. Uh, blocks. Nope. Um, biome features block sapling. Here's the block sapling code right here. Um, so we'll go through, um, of course, we're doing our strings. We're referencing ones that are coming from this block bush class. Um, all this right here. This right here, this is your grow tree method right here. And so really what we've done is we've specified, hey, we're going to grow a block log, block leaf with metadata, metadata of zero and zero. 
0 and 0, remember on our metadata, um, looking over here, our metadata for our logs, right here 0 is going to be the first one, 1 is going to be the second one, right? So metadata right here, so the log is going to be 0 and the leaf is going to be 0. Log is going to be 1, leaf is going to be 1, right? So we'll kind of we'll kind of get into um, all of this next time. But you can see this is a this is a pretty heavy duty class that we've got to work through here and uh, get rolling. So I'm going to dedicate an episode all to itself on that one. Um, in the meantime, lots of love, guys. I'm gonna things have settled down quite a bit for me uh, work wise. Finals are done, end of term is done. Things are chill at work at work work um, so I can get back on a more regular recording schedule um, yeah it's been great visiting with you guys fuck shit nipples peepees yep okay bye bye <laughs>